Hi, thanks for watching. We need a break for all this madness. So, this video I'll be looking at some mud with a theory as to how it may have happened. And we'll look at some strange coincidences and some life imitating art. Oh, and I'll expose another fake architect or two. First of all, I'll show you one of the places we'll be having a closer look at and it's down here on Manhattan and it's this here, the Dakota building Now, it's got a really strange history and as you can see quite clearly it's in mud There's a floor below the street. So like I say, we'll have a closer look at this later. But first I'll take you to somewhere and I can try and explain this theory. And to, to explain that, I've came here. This is at the top of Blythewood Hill in Glasgow. Right, and in here there's an architect's office down in this moat. So Let's go take a look. Let's go down and walk. Let's go. I don't hold out much hope, but if you don't ask, you don't get. Hi. I've got a crazy request. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I talk to an architect for a couple of words and ask him a couple of questions. It's actually not letting me through the back because it's a back garden. I know, I thought that's why I came today because I thought it made you a little busy. Mm -hmm. And most of the people in my job chose the stadium to work on site. Right. So it's just the director shoots for their office and the job chose the stadium. No. Um, what if you're trying to find out? <sighs> right, I'm, I'm making a video. I'm making videos for my, my YouTube channel and I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I've found some crazy stuff in this city that, may, that I cannot explain. Mm -hmm. The architecture is, would you like to see what I'm talking about? I can show you. There is a lot of crazy architecture. Well, <laughs> let me show you this please. Right, how long you worked here? For this company? Yeah. 24 years. Yeah, so you looked a bit of drawing then. Now this is nothing like what, what you're used to. Right, this is just a simple sketch. Mm -hmm. Just to show what I'm trying to explain. <coughs> now, do you recognise that house? No. Right, well, that's this house. Right, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. From the front, you get three floors. Mm -hmm. Then you have the floor and the moat. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. This here, there's the same three floors. There's the floor that's in the moat with the stairs. Mm -hmm. And there's another floor below here. A basement floor. Where the back door is. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, here's, I've got a, I've got a weird request. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, when this house was built, yeah. It was built as a five-storey property with this being the front door. Mm -hmm. Then there was an event which caused mud to fill up this whole square. Uh -huh. When this house was built, you'd look at that window and you would see the other houses oh, across the road. Yeah. But we can't because of the mud. Came here mm -hmm. and whether it's for whatever reason, this is as far as they dig all over the city. I find it everywhere. Right? So, is there any way I can go down to this floor below where I'm at the moment? So, to do that, you would need to go see the main, the, main, the other stairs that are right. here. So, the, this this is a whole block. Right. So, the, the stairs. When you go back up my stairs, if you turn to your left, 
as a set of stairs that go up the middle. Right. That's where the caretaker is right. that deals with everything that's down there. So he really? will be able to let you go down there and a half. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. Name by the way, Tracy. Tracy, thank you very much You're so very much for your help, Tracy. Right, you just go up and see. Yeah. Ask, just speak to John. He'll be up John. here. John. Yeah. Where are you? No. I'll continue my question. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for this, John. This means a lot, mate. It's a lot, mate. Nothing else. There's no windies or fuck all. Nothing? No. Wow. No, we're playing that, pal. I just, do you know what I need to do? I've, had, I've, I've got, as I say, I've got a YouTube channel, and there are lots of people telling me you build houses on with a basement, right? But these are no basements, John. If you look for the front of this house, see the night when you finish? Walk out the front door and go up that way and look down that. And if you look down the big deep gully, that is where the floor was. So we're, this is now below. Right. So we're on the floor below the moat then, right now. Right. What's that? And this would be the back door here. That's the back door there. Right. So it only goes this far. Yep. That's only a few yards. There's nothing on the other side of that wall. No. Uh, that's the furthest wall there. Let's see that door. Alright, this one here. Man. That's just some empty. You should get all bunker, I think. Yeah. So this is the only thing. Right. Right. So where I'm standing right now. Right. Leslie's office is right there. Right up the top. Right. Brilliant, John. Thank you. Appreciate that. Let's take you. Excellent. Right, so this is the back door. Yeah. See, this is what we're seeing, John. See this here? Right. I think that's the height when the, when the houses were built. Well, you went into that one, see. But I think it's the same on the other side. I think they were doing the same depth. I don't know. So who's that? Whose property is that? That's executive benefits. They'll know, they'll definitely know you like that. Is that today we got gov? Eh? Today we got dot gov. <laughs> well, I'm fucked then, eh? <laughs> right, well, thanks very much, John. No, I appreciate that, mate. Oh. Right, thank you. So, next next time here, then. And this is the back door. Right. And that's the street level. And this level here is the office I was in. And I just went through, as you see, that back door. But it only goes in a few yards. So, I won't get in there. And the St. David Dot Gov, not a chance.
so no no why is it so there's that door there that just came out and there's actually more depth below that door hmm Right. When this has been utilised, there's another underground car park. Saturday. Right, well, thanks for keeping watching because this is the drawing that I was shown in the office. Uh, this is the front elevation of the house that I was in. And bear in mind, this is in a row of houses, so there are houses similar on either side. In fact, there's a row of houses at this side of the square facing east and there's a similar row of houses opposite this end of the square and they're facing west. To the left and right you have one side facing north and one facing south. I don't think that is a coincidence. But anyway, so this is the stairs that I went down to go in through this door in the moat and I had a chat with Leslie here. Now, it's very explained on the side elevation. Right, so here's where the chat took place and she then directed me to the caretaker, John, where I came back onto the street and into the building that is literally next door. And after the chat he took me to an elevator which was around here and we came down from that floor down to here now it is only a few yards so I estimate we never went any farther than this probably about here then there was the I, th I think it was a wine cellar at some stage and that was around possibly there right so he said it was under the office well technically he was right because this is a big fucking office so it could have been right but that is as far as I got so, uh, and I don't know how it was behind these walls facing the back door. And when you can out the back door, this is the top of the hill, I think, when this was built. And this would have been the garden. With flowers and trees and all sorts of stuff. Then, the shit hit the fan and the mud appeared. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Okay, so as I was saying, across the road that that they've got the fifth floor mm -hmm. and when I got down they've only got the back half. Right. The front half is still blocked. What lake is that down here? 
Thank you. And this is number one, Blythe Rose Square. Yeah. A bit modern. <laughs> I couldn't, I can't deal with the stairs. <laughs> can, I meet you, can I meet you down there? Aye. Yeah. I don't know whether or not the door will be open. That's what you can get through the door with the lift because they have it as a gym. Yeah. So this is telling us this is the level we're now at the level of the moat. Yeah, so what yeah, so we're underneath. Yeah. That's the front door out to the moat. Yes. This here. Right, so is there another is it just the last of the stairs? Ah. This is cool. So it runs all the way yeah. through. So Wow! Oh, what's your name? <laughs> Julie. Julie, I'm Rick. <laughs> You've just made my day. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so, right now, Julie, you're underneath what you're telling me underneath the page. is I'm underneath the moat. Yeah. The moat's above me, and this here. This is, is piping and things that's behind right. that. But up there is the moat. This is the floor. Above me is the floor on the same level as the moat. Yeah, so I, I can show you the front of the, you know, that part yeah. of it as well, but this, this is fairly good. <laughs> wow. So, this is what I was saying, Julie. See, across the other side of the square, they, they're, it stops here. Yeah, we're very lucky. Yeah, you've got the whole floor. Yep. So they've got nothing. And then it goes all the way back. Yeah. And that's the back door. Wow. This is some size of place. <laughs> this takes you all the way back. Right wow. To the very back of the building. So. Ah, Julie, this is so cool. I wish I brought my torch. Ah, brilliant. So, this is, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so, this is the fifth floor in this building. Yeah. I'm awestruck, Joey. <laughs> and again, and it runs right across to the, yeah. to the side of the road. So it does, it goes back right along the wall. Yeah. So you've got the whole floor opened up here. Yes. So they spend some money digging it all out. They must have done it. It's been like, we, I mean, we only moved in here three years ago. Aye. Uh, before that, it was one solution. They were here for about ten years. Right. They're further down the road on the right hand Aye. side, nails a core. I am, um, uh, uh, but they uh, uh, certainly been here for quite a while. Aye. So, thank you, Julia. That was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, it's. <coughs> when you're looking for something and you can come across it like that. Yeah. I appreciate that so much. Yeah. And this is the moat. Brilliant. Hey, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Wow. Even the foyer, do you know something, Julie? See this foyer? This bit here? This is bigger than the first house we lived in. Honestly, we lived in a single end in the Calum and in a run-down 19th century tenement. This place is massive compared to that. <laughs> it's just a front door. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's a game. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We were in this building at the top of the hill, and then this building at the top of the hill.
So let's go down here. You can see my like the architecture is right. So there's the top of the hill, and as you can see, things don't look right. And this carries on right down the hill, and it's quite a big hill actually. Mm -hmm. So I next, can see that. right. So next thing we're going to have a look at is this property here, where you can have you've got your three floors and the floor in the moat, mm -hmm. right? And you go down here. There's the wall. Right, so there's your, there's your three floors, and the door goes up the stairs, and here's the floor level of the moat. Mm -hmm. So on Google Earth, the this is as far as you can go. But last year, year before it now, I met a couple of tourists from Holland and they were telling me they had similar things all over Holland so we had to chat up here about mud and then I showed them what's behind the wall and quite clearly you can see this is the, the floor with the moat Right, and this is the floor that would be below that. So there's another floor to be dug out, they don't bother. And this is just pointing out that, well, this is pointing, it's not actually breeze block. There's a lot of fakery everywhere. Right, and when I, when I mentioned fakery, this is all fakery, all these fronts on all these buildings. This is all fake. This used to be a window. And this is created at the front of all these structures. These are just simple. Same idea. It used to be a window. And that's a property we're just behind. And they've actually, I think that's a, a, a granny flat or something. This lifts here. I don't know. But we'll go back to the top of the hill to show you something. Uh, it's to give you some food for thought. Mm -hmm. Now, I showed you in here. We were in this moat, right? So... That's been measured, and well, this is a view. So remember, there are four such moats at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. and they are all around the hill, on every street. So here's what I'm asking you to ponder. Mm -hmm. This single moat here would require the removal of 700 cubic tonnes of mud, soil, call it what you will. But that's one more, 700 cubic tons. So, imagine that everywhere where you see these moats. Now, just considering Glasgow alone, it's how long did that take? Who actually did it? And when? Right? Because, like I say, all these buildings, it's all fakery. These were windows that were turned into doors. That's how this works. Right? And they add this stuff here around about the same time. So my question is, when does all that happen? And who done that? 
and it happens all over the earth in every city. So how do you think it happens? Well, from what I see, it would appear that the, the soil itself was actually changed. Whether it be through, I don't know, frequency, resonance, sound, vibration, moisture, I have no idea, but I think it expanded like, well, expanding foam, and then psh, went solid. And in some places they dug out and created a moat, and the, I think the majority of them are 10 feet, so that must be standard, because they always go just below the window, which makes no sense. Right, so that's what I think could have caused this. Natural? I have no idea. This place is insane. Anything's possible. The reason why I mentioned moisture and not water is because I don't think water itself was involved. The reason why I think that is because if water was, liquid water was involved, then the weight of the water would, it would have settled at the base of the hill. It would never have settled evenly around the whole hill. That, that, that's not how it works. So, that's why I don't think it was flood the, 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 that conjures up like images of, well, a flood, which I don't think it was. I think it was, it just flowed, whatever it happened to be, and then psh, went solid. Right, let's go back to Manhattan. I'm sitting in a hot tub filled to the brim with solid sand. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things ever. If you take a tub of sand like this and then add air in just the right way, it basically becomes a liquefied soup. This is known as a fluidized bed. It's used in industrial applications such as powder coat painting or in grain silos to make sure that the grain flows smoothly to the outlet. With air on, the top surface is nearly frictionless. It's like an air hockey table. And then when you cut off the air, it freezes everything exactly where it's at. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple version like this yourself. It just stops and you're like locked in place. It's like a weighted blanket on every surface of your body. 